so today we are continue with our uh, continue with the tutorial on ruby on rails so basically today we are going to work with routes in ruby so basically routes in ruby means like url so basically when you create an application you create different urls like for different purposes so we will see how to create some urls in rails and we will start uh, like learn uh, what we can process uh, after creating a route so basically uh, so let's start with our application so very first thing you need to create is like the first thing is like uh, i'll give a quick overview okay uh, since ruby is a mvc framework so m stands for models that is your database so basically this refers to database views is like your presentation so basically that is your html and uh, like html and front end so basically this is like for your presentation okay uh, presentation and uh, the another one is controller so controllers are basically used to like uh, like basically like it is like based to communicate and navigate between the above two so basically controllers take control uh, between uh, where like between models and views okay so basically they are the one which basically communicate so basically controllers helps you to communicate between the above two so this is how mvc framework is completed so first thing we need to do is uh, okay so first thing we need to do is we need to type rails server so basically i'll also give you a quick uh, like overview what are like uh, like important commands like initially you should know uh, which will help you out so one command is rails server so this will start the server okay uh, yeah and another is rails console console so this will like uh, this will like uh, this will like uh, this will uh, start the console and you can like do uh, interact with your database models inside this console so this has a short notation of rails s also known as rails s and this is also known as rails c uh, another one is rails generate so basically generate is used to like generate like model views and controller so you can generate things with this so basically to generate and it has a short notation of rails g, g. so basically th these are the commands you should know and preferably this should help you out uh, like uh, in this tutorial so first thing you need to move inside your project directory i have already created a project and like you can and i have already created a project and you uh, i know i'll start the server inside my project i'll type rails server i've already created a project with the name my project so rails server is this so when i do this so the rails server should start on my local machine so basically rails server is start now started and when i like here you can see when i move to this port localhost i see the server is running uh, so here you can see the server is running on my machine. So basically it starts on this board and I have a command line shell to like take care of the things now uh, What you can do uh, Now I have terminated the like uh, a server now. I'll type rails generate Controller and this should be my controller name now after this I should have my controller name So basically I can type any controller. So let me type root. Okay, so just for your preference, I'm typing root. I'm highlighting this as well. So like this is for my reference. Now when I run this command, so now you will take it will take a like a, a take a little bit of time, uh, not much. But now here you can see that now it has created some files. So the first thing is uh, to, between like uh, I taught you like these are like the commands you are going to like interact with Rails most probably most of the time. And this, this this is like it's uh, like uh, definition how Rails is defined uh, MVC model. So now we are going to like uh, have an overview of little bit of files because understanding the structure is very important. So you need to understand where database is defined, where views is defined, where controllers are defined. So this would help you out. So most probably you can see here itself that inside my app folder. Uh, there is a folder three folders like one is models okay one other is views and another is controllers okay so 
when I wrote this command rails generate controller root so it itself created a root controller inside here here you can see the rails generate rails had like generated this controller for me so so now you can see the class root controller uh, like it has inherited the property from application controller so so here you can see so it has a uh, like uh, so here you can see that that there is an application controller here okay now uh, my root controller inherits from application controller so like so uh, like basically my root controller inherits, inherits some properties from application controller so that is a part of inheritance but the main point is here is that it has already generated a root controller now i can now now when i have generated a controller so it has also generated the corresponding views for it also now inside my views folder here you can see uh, there is a folder called root which rails generated right now it's empty but uh, I'll show you how this works. Okay, so now uh, let's move to routes.rb. Now let's define a, a route get. Okay, and we need to define get. Uh, so first we will define few routes and then we'll carry. Okay. Hey. So hey hey everyone uh, welcome back. Uh, so first let's define a route. So now I'll define like a route with get get request and it will say contact. Okay. Uh, then I'll define a route with contact then slash about. Okay. So they like these are like few basic routes I've defined. So now I'll define a two parameter which says where it should go when I hit this route. Okay where it should go so it should go to root okay uh, okay now i'll f show you first uh, when i type slash contact uh, slash contact and slash about so where should my function call exist okay so it should i will define a function in the root controller which says def define about okay it says end and then another is define contact okay and it says end so basically these two methods should be called inside the controller when I, I hit that route okay to clarify that we will say to root hash about okay and for this we will say root hash contact so when I hit these two routes you should call the about method inside the root controller and the contact method inside the root controller so when i he reach here so it will hit this okay so let's first uh like uh now what you need to do and like now when you hit a route so basically you have two options either you create for a particular request you have two options the first option is to uh for 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 one request you have two options first is to return a json response okay so basically that is your api or second is to render a uh, uh, render a html page so that is your second option okay so to make sure if you want to return like html page so you should have the inside your root folder basically inside views you have root so you should have uh, a file with html name as about dot html dot erb and another should be contact dot html dot erb okay so like these are the two files and in this i will define an h1 tag of about okay okay and in this i will define a h1 tag of contact okay so here you can see like i have created this now when i hit these two routes uh, like now i'll give you a quick or hit hit this hit these two routes when i hit them successfully you should call the like uh, inside the root controller you should call this method about and contact and we will here by default say render about page okay and render contact okay and 
what we can also do we can say put s about page about in server okay put s about in server and in the same way we can say put s contact in server and uh, like if we are able to like figure out like like this would really help us to see the console also okay so let's run this now let's run this we will type the command rails server so our server uh, should start now okay so here you can see the server has started so now let's hit this page about so we have reached the about and let's hit this one as well contact so here we have reached the contact page also and now you can see there is a specific line uh, which says contact in server and it was also like and there is this line also about in server so here you can see whenever uh, like I hit this route in the routes.rb it calls the about method and the contact method of my root controller uh, make sure that can, it can have any name I, I, I named it as root you can name it as with any other name then when it, it like when uh, the, it, it had hit it the like method so it had first run the put a statement then it called a render method to uh, like uh, render the HTML page so this is like the most basic tutorial to create a route and render an HTML page in Rails. Now in the next, we will try to return a JSON response. So I hope you you to catch up you all in the next tutorial. So thank you everyone for watching this.